Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to give you an overview to Gladiator 4 from Tonchu. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so first of all, thank you very much to the guys at Tonchu for giving me the opportunity to really try a Gladiator version 4. As you can see, up here it says version 4 full M1 ARM native, which is great in terms of support. The UI is really tremendous. Of course, people have asked me to review it and also to compare it to Icarus 3. I'm not going to compare it right away on the first video on Gladiator 4, but shall we say that um, it's different. It has its own character and it has something quite unique called harmonic content morphing, which I will explain in a moment, but let's listen to some of the preset first. Okay, so those were some of the preset in the arpeggiato category. As you can see, you have an arpeggiato here, really nice. So let's change category. You can see here you can you have other categories for pad, synth, lead keys, bass, atmospheric, some real vocal, the drum effects, and gladiator free as well. I love um, pad. <laughs> Very atmospheric, really nice. So let's try some synth. Really great. So let's try a couple of other ones as well, some lead keys. Of course, monophonic. see here which is great you can change the quality from high end very high medium or linear which is great and look up here this goes up to 256 voices so great okay let's try some bass
Okay, let's go for some atmospheric warp patches. <laughs> Some semi real. Amazing. Really nice flute. Great banjo. Fantastic, really, really great. Okay. Really great funk guitar. Let's change category. Let's go to the vocoder. Superb. Drum effect. And of course you have a category as well for grad uh, Gladiator 3 for patches from the previous version. And look how many patches you have, amazing. So, what can we say about Gladiator 4? Well, first of all, as I mentioned at the very beginning, it has an advanced harmonic content morph morphine or HCM synthesis. Okay, and, and that's quite um, clever because it, it, they practically record the spectra from uh, harmonic spectra from different instruments up to 256, and then you can morph between 
um, all of those with different controls. That is why you have a section here on the symbol where it says Morph Mode. Okay, you can initialize a preset here. As you can see, you can save, copy, etc. I'm not going to go through all the controls, but just to give you an idea, you have, a, um, you can see oscillator one and two here, three and four, but you also have a fifth oscillator as well, which, um, which is superb, right? This thing, as I mentioned um, at the beginning, is 256 voices here. So it's quite good. You can change the quality, the tuning here. But here's the thing. You can also have a unison mode. And if you click here, you can see it can go up to four times unison per eight. So that means that you can have eight um, oscillators between oscillator one and two, another eight between oscillator three and four, which makes 16. And then it can do also two times unison for the fifth oscillator. So practically you have 18 oscillators per voice and you can go up to 256 voices. So you can do the math really. In terms of synthesis, so I already mentioned the ACM synthesis, but you can do frequency modulation, um, AM synthesis, pulse width modulation, sync, uh, phase modulation, wave shaping, distortion, unison, uh, resynthesis, spectra, phase distortion. It comes with more than 30,000 waveforms. Um, 40 different stereo filters, um, plenty of effects, up to 324 um, over simply. Um, you can see you have an arpeggiator here, but you also have a step LFO here, which is great. You can define all your different step, choose the shape, uh, the mode of retriggering or song sync, the speed here, the number of step, then you move them up and down. Of course, you have a um, envelope. Of course, it goes without saying. Your ADSR here for volume. You can see distortion here with all different types. You have filters here. You can choose the type of filter. You can have also an envelope here for the filters, all the different controls here. You have feedback here, so your delay as well. Okay, so you can establish routine as well. Um, and then also you have LFO, you can see LFO 1 and 2 here, and uh, alongside the step LFO, which I mentioned uh, earlier. And then here you have a matrix where you can choose the routing really for, um, um, for, uh, um, yeah, for the modulation. Okay, so, so just to give you an example, if I go here to oscillator number one, I can choose all different type um, of wave. So you can see you have lots depend on depending on the synthesis, which of course you choose. And then I can further modulate them. I can choose another one here, and then I can combine the two. Or listen only to the second one, only to the first one. Combine the two, crossfade, I can do so much, really. Let's say that I, I'm going to put a filter here, low pass. I adjust that there. Let's say that then I go to the modulation here. A matrix, I say the source is LFO1, the destination is the cutoff, and then I can choose the intensity here. can put an effect here as you can hear so you can do so much as i mentioned here you have uh, um, an arpeggiator which is great the unison option here as well here you can balance between the, all the different oscillator you can see one two three four here 
and the fifth one and how they interact between each other. And also the um, fifth oscillator is a special one, so it's sample and noise. And here you establish, of course, what is going to do. And you can see you can load some samples as well. And of course, you can do resynthesis as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop here. This was just a quick introduction, a getting started, really. And I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you um, in the next upcoming tutorial. Thank you. Bye.